Hi everyone, this is JP here with Brizzy. It's a Cool Tips Tuesday. So what do we do on a Cool Tips Tuesday? We just show you things that maybe you didn't know or maybe things that can help you with a few layout designs or even look at some other things that some of our partners and our themes and plugins can help you to improve your website. Now, one of the things that we often see on the Brizzy Forum community on Facebook is the following question. I have a column, I have a image inside the column, but when I view it on my cell phone, I see nothing or I just see one line. What's going on? So I'm going to show you this team, well, this team block that we have here. I've got Sandra Mullock and Stephen Seahorse. I've created this by making a column and then putting two columns inside the column. So I have a left column with two columns and a right column with two columns. And what I'm going to do now is for this column here, the one that is currently pink, I'll click on it all the way to the left is background. So I can put an image in my column and I'm going to choose Sandra Mullock. And then on this side for Stephen Seahorse, I'm going to choose Stephen Seahorse. And there we go. Let's save this update and then we go preview it on the front end to see what is the concern when you are working with images within columns. Preview. And so far, so good. Nothing wrong. Let's have a look if we display this on a tablet like the Apple iPad, how that will look. Again, we'll probably have to go and do some formatting for the text there. If we look at it in landscape mode, it will be even better. But observe what happens when we go into a phone display. I'll just choose OnePlus. So here's our team. And this is what people often talk about on the forum. What is going on here? There is only one line here. To understand this better, let's go back into our Brizzy editor and then let's look at the mobile display. This is how the layout will be within a mobile display. But why do these images not display? Let's put it this way. If you are on the desktop, this container will take the height of whatever is adjacent to it. So if this container here on the right were taller, let's bring in a spacer to do that. I'll just for this sake, spacer and I'll drag it in and let's update it. Then go back to our page and refresh it. You will see that the image, just like here in the builder, will take the height of whatever the adjacent column is. Now, if you think of that, and you go back into your mobile display, there is nothing adjacent to this image column, which means it basically reads there's nothing. But in this case, it's going to give you a one pixel display. And that is what's happening over here. You see that one pixel display. To make sure that this will display properly, you have to put a spacer within that column. You have to do that on the desktop. You can only add and remove elements on the desktop. So what I'll do, let's remove this spacer, right click and delete. And I will then grab my spacer over here and I'll drop it. If I click here, you can see there is the outline of the spacer and then I'll drag it about here. And then I will duplicate the spacer and I'll drag it in here. So we have two identical spacers. Look what happens now when I go into my mobile. You will see that the spacer is in here. So what I can do is now I can drag it. We check the size, 319 pixels. So we do the same for this one. I'm going to double click on it and type in 319 pixels. Now let's update our work. Go back to the front end. Refresh. And now it works the way we would like it to work on mobile display. Remember that whenever you work with columns and images within columns and you don't put anything in there on your mobile, it won't display correctly. You need to put a spacer in that. And the spacer itself will also give you more control over the height and you have far more control over that in this case. And then you can go to this one and put it in the middle. Huh? See? Not bad, not bad. Okay, and that is our Cool Tips Tuesday tip for this Tuesday. For more tutorials and more tips here on Brizzy, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, and also visit us at brizzy.io.